First, I guess we've got to at least define a thermometer and a thermostat. Because a lot of people think that they're the same thing. I would say there are there are a good handful of people that I've met that don't know the difference between a thermometer and a thermostat. So since that's the case, I'm going to assume you don't. And you might be like, oh, I obviously I know this. And that's okay. I'm going to assume for a second that you don't because a different listener might not know. And so I'm going to explain it a little bit. A thermometer, a thermometer, it meters it. It basically takes a snapshot of where are we. It doesn't affect the actual uh, temperature gauge. Okay? It doesn't do anything but tell you what is the temperature. So when you were young and sick, uh, your parent or guardian may have put uh, a thermometer, a thermometer under your tongue. And it metered, basically said, how, what is your temperature? If you're in the U.S., that might have been 98.6 degrees, 99, 100, 101, 2, 3, 4, or 5. And, you know, we know that it's a real fever when it's above, I think it's 101.8 or something. Now that's a real fever. And the thermometer, the thermometer, literally only tells you what is the temperature. It reads the temperature. It doesn't affect the temperature at all. A thermostat is a little bit different. A thermostat are generally the things that we put on our walls. And we say, I want my house to be 69 degrees Fahrenheit. Or I want my house to be... 18 degrees Celsius. And you set the thermostat. And in many cases, if it gets too hot, the air conditioning or the swamp cooler will kick on and it will cool the place. And in some cases, if it gets below the temperature, if you wanted it at 69 or 70 degrees and it's, uh, it's getting below that, maybe the heat's going to kick on. 